Hey, Moikari! Hey everyone, it's nice to meet you. My name is John. I'm the CEO of Culture Select, and we just launched a Kickstarter for this title, Moikari. We've been saying it's adorable and it's tactical, and that's the part we really want to focus on today, is that it's tactical. I'm going to be doing a gameplay video that just goes over all the battle mechanics. Moikari is kind of, uh, it's a doujin game. It's straight from Kamiket. Uh, the developers at MoQsoft and their team leader Mochi worked really hard on the game design and the battle system and we just want to do a brief overview for everyone who's been asking for it uh, asking about it on the Kickstarter so uh, let's jump in uh, new game here and the first thing you do when you start a new game is choose a class for Iruse she's a summoner so uh, that has a lot of different uh, ways it can play out. You can be a warrior, you can be a knight, you can be a hunter, assassin, magician, healer, uh, illusionist, witch, elementalist, or necromancer. And there's some other secret ones you can get later on. And uh, depending on what you choose, uh, the gameplay is completely different. Like, uh, for example, if you're a knight, you can affect the zone of control, like a hero is a might of magic sort of thing. Uh, elementalist, you can play to the different kinds of terrain on the map. Uh, if you are a uh, magician, you can use all sorts of different area effect text. But we're going we're gonna to start with Necromancer, and uh, I'll show you why in a little bit. So uh, when the game starts, you go straight into a story mode. We're going to see that. And there's 25 in the game. Nika, Nika, ni. We have Iruse's trusty companion Nika. Uh, I'm gonna skip over the story. I'm gonna skip over the story part for now. You know, when it's localized, you'll be able to get the whole uh, the whole feeling of it. All you need to know is that uh, Nika and Iruse are friends. And as we click through the story, we'll see from Nika's sprites that they're friends, and they're really great friends. We're just gonna click through and get right to the first battle which is a, a little friendly competition they're practicing. So uh, if you get to the first battle, you'll see Nika on the other side and you'll have Irise in this corner. And uh, basically, in order to win, you need to knock out the enemy summoner and the basic lose condition is getting knocked out yourself. But there are a lot of different ones depending on the mission or the battle. But uh, this is just a basic, uh, basic tutorial, so good for this video. When you start with Iruse, you have her action menu, and you have three main options. You can move, you can use one of her techniques, or you can summon. So you only get to use one per turn. But um, Nika, like, Nika is an assassin class, so she does a ton of damage when you get up close. Like, we don't want to get anywhere near Nika for this match. So uh, I'm going to actually take advantage of the terrain and I'm going to stay back a little bit and let all my uh, my necromancy kind of do the work here. So uh, like I said at the start, you know, I'm going to be a necromancer and the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to be anywhere near Nika at all because she does a ton of damage up close. So I'm going to I'm going to throw a skeleton down here, and it's Moe Curdy, so the skeletons are adorable. And uh, we're going to start summoning Siruto. Uh, I don't. Uh, we're going to, of course, localize the game. Uh, her name is Siruto. We're going to call her Siruto for now. Uh, if you think about Norse mythology and all that, uh, she's from one of those. But uh, for now, Siruto has two turns until she comes out. So you can see your whole team down here and what you can possibly summon down here. And if you click this button, you can see Nika's team. Now she hasn't had a turn yet, so you only see her sprite. But uh, we can see we have two turns for Sudato to come out. And uh, I'm going to be able to move as well, so I'm going to get uh, pretty far, as far away from Nika as I possibly can. But I still want to be able to summon, so I'm going to try and maintain this distance. Just go over here for now. So uh, if you notice on the map, there's uh, we're going to let Nika take her turn. 
she's going to summon something. And uh, if you notice, there's a lot of different uh, terrain on the map. We have earthy terrain and we have uh, water terrain. Now, the terrain icons indicate not just elemental uh, affinities, but also like different, they, they have other kinds of mechanics. Uh, in this case, the water is going to give us a minor defensive boost. So for Iruse, I want to make sure that she has as much defense as possible because I don't want to be hit by any of uh, Nika's Nika summons or by Nika herself. So I'm going to keep summing stuff while I'm waiting for uh, Sudato to come out. And I'm just going to chill. I'm going to hang out over here. I don't want to be attacked. I don't want to be anything. And I'm going to just kind of walk over onto a water tile so I get that defensive boost. And we're going to see what Nika does. Okay. Leaf girl. That's a lot of movement. Okay, we got Sudato out. And as you see, we're gaining SP each turn. Uh, each character, they have uh, HP and SP. And SP is going to affect my ability to summon things. So, uh, as you can see, I have another summon available down here, but I can't summon her yet because she requires 7 SP to summon, and I only have 6. But I'll get a little bit back each turn. When creatures run out of SP, they just uh, they dissipate altogether. So, and, you know, HP is obvious, right? So let's see how this strategy plays out. I'm going to hang out one turn and get enough SP up in order to summon my next creature. But I'm going to start sending my uh, skeleton army up. My adorable skeletons. And Sudato, who is awesome. She has a ton of HP, and uh, she's immune to all status effects. So I don't know what this thing is, but I'm not scared of it. All right, let's see here. Let's, let's see what Nika does in turn. All right, cat girl comes out, SP up. Cat girl has a ton of movement. All right, good. Okay, so she wasted two turns on attacking, uh, attacking my skeleton, which is great because it's it's great when these things survive one hit in the first place. If they take two hits, that's that's pretty good because we can just keep pumping them out. But uh, I saved up the SP, so I am now going to summon. And this is more of a support summon. I'm going to put her down here. It's going to take her two turns to come out as well. When I look at my SP, I only have three, so I can't summon a skeleton. But uh, I'm going to get back here and support a little bit because that cat girl looks scary. And I want to be near my near my troops because uh, say still has a shadow blast attack, which is pretty good. So she can still uh, be offensive as well. But I end my turn in. We're going to see how this strategy plays out. Okay, five damage. So those status effects they won't they won't affect Sudato, which is nice. And uh, my support's gonna come out in a little bit. But as you can see, I'm get Nika's can't attack you to say yet. She's blocked by all this stuff, and I'm gonna make sure it kind of stays that way <laughs> by summoning a bunch of skele as many skeletons as I can to kind of uh, deal with her. I don't want her to get near me at all. So uh, because even when a even when a skeleton comes out, I can I can attack with it right away, and that's what I'm gonna do. Only one damage, not a lot. So we gotta make sure Sudato gets up there and starts doing the heavy hits. Now this is gonna this is gonna leave uh, Iduse exposed a little bit to the other creatures, but Iduse has plenty of health, so we'll, we'll, we should be all right. Flame sword, fire blade. All right, seven. That's pretty good. So. Uh, she only has 18 HP left. I just did 8 damage. So uh, if I get... Let's see if I can get another hit up here. Uh, no. Nika's pretty crowded. So I'm going to try and use Zone of Control and keep her from moving up to me. Just to keep her there. And when my summon comes out, we should be in okay shape. My summon will be able to support you to say against these two summons that Nika put out. did a lot of damage, but it's not too easy to say, so I'm alright with that. But she was able to move afterwards. Okay, summons up. Hmm. Let's 
see how much damage we can do here. Now, um, this summon has uh, actual elemental attacks, so I'm going to move up here and I'm going to take, uh, use this element on the terrain in order to make this attack a little bit more powerful. And I'm going to hit Nika best I can. Okay, four damage, not bad. And then I'm going to get Suruto in there too. Let's see if we can take her out quickly. So at this point, I think Nika is only going to survive another turn unless I can actually get her this turn. Which would be nice. Yusei still has an attack she can use, which is her Shadow Blast. Let's see if this is enough damage. Nika has 6 HP. 4 damage. Not enough. So, um... Ah! I want summon George. She's going to live another turn and probably do a lot of damage, but... I think we pretty much have the wind secure by now. Just by having all that stuff up there at front. Suruto's the god. So you can see a lot of first summons tend to have really good movement and a lot of close range damage, but they don't have a ton of health, which is uh, unfortunate for her. So we're going to see the end of this battle. Yay! Alright. It's cool. It's like, Nika's a little upset, but it's like, don't mess with me, girl, I got a cape. Please. Okay, but so they're going to be friends, and uh, that's going to be the end of the first battle sequence. So that's just a basic rundown of uh, one of the many, many, many ways you can play this game. Uh... Basically, once you win, you get, uh, we saw we got a bunch of XP and uh, training points and stuff, and you'll never waste your time uh, playing through this game over and over again, because you'll always get more training points. And those points can be used to uh, upgrade your creatures and your summons. So, um, there's lots of ways to get these creatures. Uh, Iruse kind of has like a Pokeball kind of like move where she can capture wild ones um, you can you we just got the one creature from Nika the girl with the leaf on her head and you can also buy them through like a lottery and we'll see that in the formation menu in a second so uh, basically after every battle and every uh, in between battles you'll be able to access uh, the formation menu which will be able to uh, customize your team and diversify So if you see uh, this one, uh, I'm going to put, let's see here, uh, you have all your different summons and you can change their abilities and all of that. And you also have the gem menu where you can buy a bunch of different uh, creatures and kind of, it's, but you don't get to buy them directly, it's like a lottery. And uh, you can go through them, choose their type to try and get out a specific one uh, if you spend more money. Um, we also have our Moe decks, which is pretty good because it shows all the art for all the creatures. Um, you have, and, and of course the characters, so you have Yurusei and Nika now. And it shows their, uh, their artists, like what artist uh, made, um, made the art for the character. So that's the great thing about Moe Curry, is it's not just, uh, it's not just a good SRPG, but it also has all of these different um, it's, it's, it's all these different artists that contributed to it. Like, I remember when I first met Mochi, he told me how much work went into this game. And we really thought this was an ideal game to bring over and show, like, all the different work of different doujin artists in Japan, different indie artists and, uh, indie developers. So, uh, that being said, we hope you guys support the Kickstarter and our company. We get this game localized, we get it over to the U.S. so we can... Uh, I'll put it on Steam and play it. Okay, so let everyone know about all of this moe. All of this moe. All this moe! Look at all this moe! And uh, just have enjoy playing this game and having a fun time. Alright, take care guys.